Bitcoin is the OG cryptocurrency. It's the first of its kind. You'll see it here at the top and spoiler alert, it'll be staying at the top for the rest of this video. Litecoin is practically a copy of Bitcoin created with a few changes that made it faster and cheaper and utilized a different hashing algorithm so that more people could participate in the network. Next up, we have Namecoin. Namecoin is also a fork of Bitcoin. It's practically the same thing, but they utilize top level domains. Peercoin is pretty similar to Bitcoin again, except it uses a proof of stake mechanism, which is much more green and incentivizes people to actually own the coin. You might realize by now that all of the early cryptocurrencies had the word coin in them. I thought this was an interesting find. Also, quite a few of them were simply forks of the main OG cryptocurrency. Next up is XRP. XRP is a cryptocurrency created by Ripple Labs as a way for them to be able to offer a unique cross-border payment solution to banks. This way, users don't have to spend days and pay high fees when moving their USD in America to rupees in India. Dogecoin was actually started as a joke crypto to poke fun at Bitcoin, but quickly gained a decent reputation and has actually stayed in the top 100 list for a while. Next up we'll see Monero, and Monero is a crypto where you cannot see public transactions. This way you can't track how much money someone else has just by having their address, and they can't see your transactions. Everything is truly private. Dash, also known as Darkcoin, is basically a fork of Bitcoin that has a few changes similar to Litecoin, but also included the creation of something called Masternodes. I'll probably make a video on this soon. Stellar Lumens are an open source cryptocurrency that is almost free to send and very fast. Similar to Ripple, they are attempting to solve a cross-border payment solution, a worldwide global currency. In July of 2015, Ethereum was started by the famous Vitalik Buterin when he was only 19 years old. Basically, Ethereum is a digital ledger like Bitcoin, but the blockchain holds a lot more data such as smart contracts. These smart contracts act as a way for users to create decentralized applications, different tokens, and even NFTs. Ethereum is now almost as big as Bitcoin. Not long after, Ethereum Classic was created when there was a hack to the Ethereum blockchain and Vitalik basically said, let's give the people who are hacked their money back. Well, some people really believed in the finality and the immutability of the network, saw this as Vitalik interacting like a government would. So Ethereum Classic is the blockchain where the funds were not given back. On the mainstream Ethereum blockchain though, around $50 million worth of funds were returned. Steam is an interesting cryptocurrency that is built on a social blockchain which actually rewards users for their interaction on the site. Content writers basically earn money by creating and sharing their work. Waves is a blockchain that is designed to let users create their own tokens without using smart contract code, and Augur is a betting platform on Ethereum. Tether is a token on the Ethereum network and was created by the Tether company, which supposedly backs each token by a real United States dollar or equivalent. They are actually the first big name stablecoin to appear. Around here, you can see that XRP grows very quickly and then so does Ethereum. At this time, many new tokens are being created on the Ethereum network during the ICO boom of 2017. Next up, we have IOTA, and IOTA isn't even a blockchain. They use a similar but different idea called a DAG to organize and confirm transactions. They are very fast and get even faster the more people that use them, and transactions are very cheap. Bitcoin Cash is a fork of Bitcoin that basically changed some stuff while also avoiding an update to Bitcoin. I'll probably talk about it more in a specific Bitcoin Cash video, so hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Around October of 2017, you see the big name Cardano start to pop up here and Cardano was created by an ex-Ethereum developer named Charles Hoskinson. You may have heard his name before, but Cardano is supposedly a better version of Ethereum with a for-profit foundation. Bitcoin Gold is simply another fork of Bitcoin, there's not much to say about it. EOS, though, is another big blockchain that's similar to Ethereum and its smart contracts, but is faster and cheaper. The BNB coin was created by the huge exchange company Binance after their launch of their first blockchain and their second smart blockchain that utilized smart contracts. Roughly a copy of Ethereum, BNB is the coin used on the Binance smart chain that offers cheap and quick smart contracts. NEO is another blockchain that was designed to be very similar to Ethereum, but built with a team in China and can process around 10,000 transactions per second. 
Next up is Bitcoin SV. Bitcoin SV is simply a fork of Bitcoin Cash, with the SV standing for Satoshi's Vision. The developers just made the blocks larger to reduce fees so that more people could use it. Tron is a proof-of-stake chain that primarily hosts entertainment applications for its users, and actually was created by the CEO of BitTorrent. Here you can start to see Tezos pop up real quick. Tezos is a self-amending blockchain that doesn't require forks for changes. Cosmos also pops up, which is a coin we definitely need to create a video on this channel as many people have requested it. Essentially, Cosmos is like WordPress, but for blockchains. You can use Cosmos to create your own blockchain with changes fairly easily. Chainlink is a blockchain that collects and organizes real-world data like temperature, wind speed, amount of viewers on this video, and uses it as a trusted source of information for other blockchains to reference. Using this, we can create applications like insurance policies that use temperature, or betting apps that follow real sports games. Polkadot is a blockchain that is aiming to be the very first layer zero solution to connect all the blockchains together using their technology. One of the biggest problems in crypto is a big word called interoperability, which means Bitcoin cannot communicate with Ethereum naturally. So we have to build a communications framework to do so, similar to how one computer talks to another computer using the internet, and the interconnectivity greatly increases the value of the network. USDC is another stablecoin that starts to pop up here, created by Coinbase. Around this time, we see wrapped Bitcoin pop up, which is Bitcoin, but on the Ethereum network, and also the Uniswap token, which is a decentralized token exchange service, and Aave, which is an Ethereum borrowing and lending platform. All three of these are Ethereum tokens, which goes to show the power of that network. Filecoin is where you can pay in the native token to store your files and data on the network, kind of like a cloud computer. Theta is attempting to be a decentralized version of YouTube, and Solana is the big Ethereum killer that has gained a lot of popularity lately. Lastly, Internet Computer is a weird coin that nobody really knew about until it showed up on Coinbase and shot up in price and also market cap, but it's basically attempting to do what the name is, be a crypto for the world's internet computer. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We really hope that maybe you've learned something. And most of all, with all of our videos, we hope to see you in the next one.